Requiz review, laws of exponents, problem 7 and 8. When you look at problem 7, you see all these parentheses. You look outside, there are no exponents outside the parentheses. So that means that this is just your regular multiplication problem. So we're going to take all the numbers and multiply those together. We have an 8 and a negative 4 gives us negative 32. We have a C to the negative 6. We'll multiply that times C to the 7th and then times C to the first power. So we keep the base C. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1 and 1 plus 1 would be 2. Then we have A. That would be A to the first times a to the negative 3 and you keep the same base 1 plus negative 3 gives us negative 2 you cannot have a negative exponent so we need to take care of that we're gonna make this a fraction negative 32 that's a negative number but the exponents a positive 1 so that's gonna stay in the numerator c squared, that 2 is a positive exponent, it will stay in the numerator. The a to the negative 2, that's a negative exponent, it has to drop down to the denominator. And when it drops down, that negative 2 becomes a positive 2. Problem number 8, we have r to the 5th divided by r to the negative 7. Our exponent rule says that when you divide the same base, you subtract the exponents. 5 minus negative 7. When you have a minus minus, it becomes plus, so 5 plus 7 will give us 12.